My name is Teresa, and this is Melody. We are part of the staff at the Urology Clinic in the Taubman Center in Ann Arbor. You may see us when you come to the clinic, or you may see some of the other staff here or at the Livonia Center for Specialty Care. Your doctor has ordered you to have a fluorourodynamic study, or FUDS. This testing gives your doctors the ability to help you manage your bladder. You may be seeing your provider for incontinence or dribbling, retention or not being able to go, or just simply to check on your bladder. This testing is done on people of all ages and for a wide variety of reasons. It takes about 10 minutes to place the catheters and about 25 minutes to do the actual testing. The test is not painful. You may have a sense of discomfort while we are placing the catheters, but once the catheters are placed and adjusted, it really shouldn't be too unbearable. Most patients report that the test was not as bad as they initially thought it was going to be. Just so you're familiar, we will explain some basic bladder information. Your bladder is a muscle that relaxes when you are storing urine before you go to the bathroom. When it's time to empty your bladder, it squeezes or contracts to let the urine out. The tube that the urine travels through from your bladder to the outside of your body is called the urethra. Normally, before you go to the bathroom to urinate, the urethra stays closed at the sphincter and prevents us from leaking. When it's time to urinate, the sphincter relaxes and lets the urine pass. Sometimes there's a faulty line of communication from the brain to the bladder. Sometimes the bladder squeezes before it should, or the urethral sphincter opens up or is not strong enough to hold the urine from passing. Sometimes the bladder doesn't squeeze at all. This test allows us to see what your bladder and sphincter are up to. In order to do this test, we must use several monitoring devices to allow us to see what's going on. A catheter will be placed in your bladder to drain all the urine from it. This allows us to be able to accurately measure how much urine you retain. Once your bladder is empty, that catheter will be removed. Next, a much smaller catheter that has two very small pressure monitoring sensors in it will be placed inside your bladder. One of the sensors will rest in your bladder, the other one will rest in the urethra at the level of the sphincter. Once the catheter is in place, your bladder will be filled with contrast dye, which is visible on x-ray. During the test, x-rays of your bladder will be taken to see it as it fills up. In order to get a full study, your doctor may request us to place a small catheter in your rectum. This catheter tells me about the rest of the pressure in your abdomen. It helps to identify if your bladder is doing the squeezing or if you are pushing to empty your bladder. Two small stickers will be placed on the outside of your bottom. These tell us about your muscle function. The muscles we are looking at are the ones that allow you to stop your stream when you are urinating or prevent you from passing gas or to do a Kegel maneuver. Your bladder symptoms determine what monitors will be placed for the study. The catheters are placed while you are in a lying position on our urodynamics bed. Once we place the catheters, we will position you properly for the test. We may have you sit or stand. If you normally leak while standing, we will probably have you stand if you are able to. We can get the information that we need either way. We just like to make it seem more like real life. We use an x-ray machine that is placed at the bladder level for the test. If you are sitting, it will rest just between your knees. During the study, we will be asking you several questions regarding your bladder fullness. We will ask you to tell us when you first feel your bladder being filled. Next, you will tell us when you would need to go to the restroom, but could wait until the next convenient moment. Then you will tell us when you wouldn't be able to wait to use the restroom. As we are filling your bladder, we will also ask you to perform a few maneuvers. We will have you bear down as if you were having a bowel movement. Then we will have you cough. We may do these several times during the test. Finally, when you tell us that you can't hold any more fluid, we will give you permission to empty your bladder. We will have a funnel device below you to catch the urine. This special piece of equipment tells us how your flow is during urination. Many times, the doctor will come in during the testing. They may ask you questions while we are filling your bladder. When we are finished, I will go over your test results with your doctor while you redress. 
Your health care provider will meet with you after the test to go over the results and decide on a plan of care based on the results of the urodynamics testing. Immediately after the procedure, you can resume all usual activities. We want you to be aware of the known risks involved with this procedure. Some people may have blood in the urine. If you experience this, it should go away within 24 to 48 hours after the testing. We will check your urine before we begin the test to see if you have an infection. We may pretreat you with an antibiotic. The risk of getting an infection from this test is very low. We normally take short x-rays during the testing while we are filling. We will take longer pictures when you are doing a maneuver or asked to void. It may burn, sting, or hurt to use the bathroom or feel like you have to go a little more often after. This should subside within 24 to 48 hours as well. Accidental injury to involved structures or surrounding structures is rare. The catheters we use are very flexible. There is nothing sharp. If I have difficulty placing the catheters, I may ask the doctor to come in and place them for me. It is our goal to make you feel at ease while we are performing your urodynamics testing. If you should have any questions or concerns regarding your test, please do not hesitate to contact your physician.